Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly right now to walk us through what's making this situation so extremely dangerous, Bill. Yeah, it is extreme. We're going to utilize uh, the Hyundai Next Weather Sphere to tell you the story in a different way. So obviously I'm standing over California right now. I have the marker for L.A. and I'm going to put on basically an image from space and you're looking down here. This is actually the fire that's moving out. You can see it if you look pretty closely and it all starts. You ask why? Let's talk about what is fueling these fires. It all starts with this area of high pressure that's basically positioned here over the inner mountain region. I have it on the map. I want to walk you through this and show you exactly what's happening. It's called a Santa Ana wind. High pressure sets up to the north and you get this area of low pressure off to the south. And the closer these are together, the stronger the winds are. Picture a river that goes between boulders and the water rushes during that. This is kind of what happens during the Santa Ana winds. The high pressure draws the winds. It air, it pushes it down. It's over the mountains and then it drops down. And as it does, it compresses and it warms. Once it does that, it goes into the desert. That dries the air out even further. Then that wind will squeeze through the channels, the, the canyons. It'll basically create a funnel. And that brings us the extremely strong winds that then continue to push out. And it is so dry, they create hot, dry and very dangerous conditions for high fire. I put a couple of observations here right now. These are current Santa Monica. Look at this, a 35 mile per hour wind gust, 1% relative humidity, basically zero water vapor in the air. Remarkable stuff. This is going to be a historic story to say the least with very little, if any, end in sight.